Hi, my name is Scott Okamoto from the Law Office of Scott Okamoto, and I'm the chair of the SFAR Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. As a fourth-generation Japanese-American, AAPI Heritage Month is, for me, a celebration of all that Japanese-Americans in general, and my family in particular, have accomplished after having come to the United States in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. But through my AAPI heritage and my service to SFAR in DEI, I'm also acutely aware of the pain and racism that Asians have experienced in this country and the long road we have yet to travel. The story of my family is a story of immigrants, but also a story of real estate. My family has been in real estate for three generations. My grandfather was a real estate broker, but was denied admission to SFAR on the basis of his race. My grandmother was also a real estate agent, but frequently encountered anti-Asian sentiment far more blatant and overt than that which has come to the fore since 2016. With that backdrop, my dad, Alan Okamoto, has worked to champion fair housing and diversity in home ownership for as long as I can remember. I mean, since all his hair was black. But through his efforts and the efforts of countless other Asians, people of color, and allies, things have changed. And from the stain of my grandfather's denial of admission to SFAR, my dad was eventually elected the first Asian American president of SFAR in 1990. So things can change, and do, when good people put their minds together. There are baby steps in the right direction, such as CAR's apology for past discriminatory practices last year, the growth of DEI committees and local real estate associations throughout the state, and our first DEI symposium coming up this September, which I hope you'll attend. But much more work remains to be done. I hope you'll join me in working to level the playing field by advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion in real estate every day and celebrating AAPI Heritage this May. Thank you.